Hello there. I made a few vlogs here and there before, but I kind of want to do something a bit different and talk about things rather than just writing about them all the time. Don't get me wrong, there's not a thing wrong with writing and I'm still working on two books as I record this. Well, not as I record this. I mean, they're in the pipeline. They're an active project. It's something I'm working on right, you know, not right now because I'm recording this video right now and never mind, ne never mind. Anyway, my name is Dan and I'm kind of boring. No, really, that's not a self admonition or a cry for help. I do a lot of interesting things, but they're things that wouldn't ever end up on the evening news or ESPN or some reality show that gets canceled halfway through its first season because one of the stars did something scandalous. I like to think that I do interesting things, but really uh, most of the things that I do are interesting to me and maybe to a few other people. I'm a web designer and technician. I hate to use the words web engineer because that's a level of grandiosity to which I don't think I've yet attained. Anyway, I work for a public library and I do their web stuff. That's pretty interesting, but then again, all I do is write code and design graphics and update the website and things like that. I think that's interesting, but sometimes I forget there are people who have absolutely no idea what it is I do. Why? Well, because they're not interested. I write, I've got a couple books on Amazon, but one is nonfiction and the other is nonfiction too. I read mostly nonfiction, though I do love sci-fi and ghost stories and the occasional mystery and stuff, but unless you're interested in popular history or libraries and technology, you're probably not going to find my books very interesting. I write music and I make art, yet the music is mostly new age and ambient, which is a huge turnoff to most people because there's a good segment of the population that have never ever heard an ambient track in their life. Seriously, go check out Steve Roach sometimes because yeah, he'll blow your mind. Unless he doesn't, and that's because you're probably not interested in ambient music. The art? Well, everything I do is a sad attempt to emulate, perhaps rip off, my favorite artist from something like 30 years ago. Patrick Nagel. You've seen Nagel's work in Playboy, and you've seen his work emulated, perhaps ripped off, in hair salons. You've probably seen his work on the cover of Rio, a Duran Duran album from the 80s. Unless you haven't, and that could be because you're not interested in pop art with a touch of deco from the 1980s. Me? I love that stuff. I also like being home, reading books, watching YouTube videos from some of my favorite creators, playing with computers, listening to music, taking an occasional run, and drinking iced tea and beer. But not at the same time, because that's just nasty. I don't do anything in the way of extreme sports, except perhaps I do like to go running in the middle of the afternoon in the Phoenix area in the middle of summer when temperatures are around 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 43 degrees Celsius for the rest of the right-thinking world. I travel occasionally, but mostly for work, and I don't go out clubbing, pubbing, or grubbing with a bunch of foodies. I basically just stay home and enjoy myself. That's not being a hermit, because I do go out quite often. I just don't go to any place more interesting than the grocery or a department store. Heck, most of my big ticket purchases are done online. I don't hole up. It just kind of works out to there's no place I need to go right now, and all of my stuff is right here. Thing is, I get a lot done. I can work from home when needed because being a web guy, I can work from anywhere in the world just as long as I have a decent internet connection. I've written two books, recorded three albums, created several illustrations, some of which have been featured on websites all over the world from America to Israel, and I've recorded almost 20 episodes of a podcast that people seem to enjoy. As things go, I may be boring, but I think I'm creating more than the average person because I'm not so busy trying to have grand adventures. Isaac Asimov once said something along the lines of, I spend a lot of time in my own head. And he did that because he enjoyed going inside of his imagination and creating new things from the ideas that he found there. I don't claim to be Asimov or an Asimov or anything like Asimov, but I kind of understand what he was talking about. I don't need to go out and do a lot of extreme things or travel to far off lands to feel happy with life. I can just make things right here at home where I can fuel my creativity and quickly put my hands on the things I need to be creative. Like in this case, a web camera, a computer, and my microphone. Boring? Perhaps, but if I can make nifty new things and I can do it right here, then I don't need to leave so often, do I? Thanks for watching.